If you're ready, go ahead and open up the image 705 underscore 3557087.jpg from our friends at Photospin. I hope you have your doctor's license handy because we're about to do a little bit of plastic surgery. We're going to take some years off this woman. Now we'll start with a little trick that I use. Number one, create a new layer. Okay, let's call this layer face. Come over here and pick up your wonderful, marvelous spot healing brush tool. Now remember that one does automatic sample. All we got to do is move around. Make sure you have sample all layers on. Content aware is selected. Choose a small brush like that. Now I'm going to come over here right about there and just drag down. I love this tool. Plan to use it on myself someday. All I'm doing is moving over areas that I want to fix. See if we can get rid of a little bit of that crow foot right there. And the years just melt away. It is really fun to work with. I mean, look at that. It just really does a cool job. If you keep doing this, and you keep messing around and changing all of these areas, eventually it's going to look so smooth that she's going to look like she's been through too much plastic surgery. Let's get rid of these areas right here while I'm talking. Don't forget, we are working in a separate layer. So if you do get too much or you wish you had not done something, it's a very easy thing to change it. And again, right now we're getting a little bit much, but that's all right. Now, you might want to change the width of the brush for smaller areas. You know, you can play around with it. And I don't like that spot right there. Let's see if we can get rid of that. We did. Sometimes all you have to do is pop it. I just can't stop. Now, the before and the after, that's actually not that bad. But the problem is this tool has one speed. It's kind of full speed. And it's really going to try to smooth those areas out. Now, since they've added content to wear, that really helps. But a lot of times I feel like it's a little bit too much. So my trick here is I always put it in a separate layer. Why wouldn't you? You've got control. The next step is bring some of it back by reducing the opacity of the face layer. If I come in here, and start moving it down just a little bit, and you're watching her. I'm going to bring just a little bit back in, not a lot. And there's the before, and there's the after. And we've taken 10 years off of that face. That's pretty cool. Now what I want you to do, because we're going to be using this image in the next lesson, let's go up to the word file on the pull-down menu and go down to save as, not save, save as. Let's call it woman one. I would suggest a good place to put these would be in your working folder, but that's up to you. Go ahead and click Save. You may or may not get this option. If you do, click OK. And there you go. If you're going right to the next lesson, just leave it open.